What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another daily Manchester City transfer update. Before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe. Going to keep you up to date as we enter into the final week of the transfer window by doing my daily Manchester City transfer updates. So if you do want to stay up to date, do make sure you have subscribed. It is free. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. And also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Before I do crack on with this video though, I'd like to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by SofaScore. They're going to keep you guys up to date every single day with all the latest football scores for you guys to enjoy. You will be able to go and check out all the latest match information, match statistics and match analysis and also you can keep up to date with all the results and all the games that's happening in all the other sports that you guys love to follow all in one place all in one app. It's very highly rated. It's a free app to download, so worthwhile checking out. Links and details there in the description. Anyone that does download SofaScore using my link in the description or the QR code on screen does help to support the future content created here on my channel. So we're going to crack on with this video. We've got no contract news. We've got no ins news. Very little out news. Yet we've got a massive update on Jao Cancelo. Now GFFN in France have said that Jao Cancelo is closing in on leaving Manchester City and it's believed that he's going to be joining Al Halal ahead of Barcelona. Now they say that an agreement is now in place between Manchester City and Al Halal for this transfer. They say that Barcelona are keen. They have made a late move to try and sign Jao Cancelo on loan from Manchester City with Al Halal looking for a permanent transfer. But Barcelona cannot guarantee a full solution to their financial restraints when it comes to registering Jao Cancelo. Now, if you pay attention to uh, Barcelona's transfers, and I've been keeping my eyes open on that in particular with Man City's pursuit of what was happening with Ilkay Gundogan. They believed that the sale of Ilkay Gundogan and maybe one more player would be enough for them to register Danny Olmo. Ilkay Gundogan has since left Barcelona, but Danny Olmo is still not uh, registered as a Barcelona player to play in La Liga, even though they've spent uh, around 60 million euros. And the same would be for Jao Cancelo to register him as a Barcelona player. They'd find it very difficult to do so. And because of that, I think Jao Cancelo is having doubts. GFFN have very interestingly said that Jao Cancelo has reluctantly asked his entourage, his agent, George Mendes, to have a look at other alternatives outside of Barcelona. It's no secret that Jao Cancelo wants to sign for Barcelona. He wants to be a Barcelona player. They managed to last season make that happen through a transfer deadline day loan. It's looking unlikely that they're going to be able to do so uh, for this summer. And with that being said, and with Jao Cancelo still not apologising to Pep Guardiola, he isn't going to be given first team opportunities at Manchester City. I have my doubts about him being registered as a player for Manchester City in the Premier League if Jao Cancelo doesn't leave Manchester City between now and transfer deadline day. Now, Man City's squad is stretched thin. It's small. The space for Jao Cancelo to be registered, but Pep Guardiola doesn't like working with players who upset the dressing room. So that isn't going to happen. So the solution to this problem that's arised is Al Halal offering Manchester City a permanent transfer. Previous reports have said that Al Halal are prepared to pay up to 40 million euros for Jao Cancelo. In current today's exchange rate, we're looking at a deal worth roughly around 34 million pounds. If that sale does go through, which right now, between now and transfer deadline day, at the time of me recording this video, I am expecting that transfer to go through to Al Halal. It would send Manchester City's transfer sales for the summer to north of 150 million pounds, with Manchester Manchester City roughly spending on both Savinho and Gundogan around 40 to 45 million pounds which means Man City's net spend is still at over 100 million pounds. The kitty is there for Manchester City if they do want to spend on any player between now and transfer deadline day. 
Pep Guardiola has confirmed that he thinks that that is Manchester City with Gundogan coming in. Manchester City done and dusted in the transfer window. But he does say to never say never and don't rule out Manchester City maybe making a move for somebody else if there's to be an injury between now and transfer deadline day. If Pep Guardiola feels like there's going to be a tactics change or the more likely option is Manchester City see an opportunity in the market. We know that Manchester City have not replaced Julian Alvarez. We've added more depth into midfield with Gundogan coming in and he can pivot and play across all of midfield for Manchester City. So when it comes to attacking midfield, central midfield and defensive midfield, Gundogan's the cover. Nunes isn't going to leave Manchester City. So we've got James McAtee here as well. That's all done and sorted. We don't need any more options in midfield. It's all about do Manchester City want to go with a six-man midfield if it comes to an injury to uh, Erling Haaland or if Erling Haaland needs a rest or do Manchester City want to go out there and sign a backup striker. We've seen Kyogo of Celtic being linked with a move to Manchester City. City have been quoted as north of £25 million for him. Celtic don't want to sell. They're already selling Matt O'Reilly. They don't want to lose Kyogo in the same window. So it would take a big offer to tempt Celtic to sell this late in the window. I wouldn't rule out Celtic saying it's just not going to happen, but there will be other clubs around Europe and around the world and in the Premier League that between now and transfer deadline day will want players to leave either on loan or on a permanent basis. And if Man City want a short-term option, then that could be the little opportunity that City are looking for heading into the final few days of this transfer window. I would say, if I was to put it in a percentage-wise, I'd say somewhere between 80 to 90% of Man City Manchester City not doing any business and that could change in each passing day with time running out in the transfer window but as you get more towards transfer deadline day clubs do get desperate to sell and let players go and if there is an opportunity for City to do a last minute bit of business to improve their squad they could well do that if that does happen the only position that I'm aware that City will be looking at will be a backup striker at the moment we've just got loose ends to tie up so that's sorting out the future of the young players do we want them playing in the academy do we want to loan them do we want them around the first team squad that needs uh, tying up by transfer deadline day Xiao Cancelo needs tying up by transfer deadline day and then it's do we want to back up striker and making a decision on that by Friday when transfer deadline day is that's the direction that we're heading in for this transfer window and as I said I will be keeping you guys up to date every single day here on YouTube with all the latest Manchester City transfer news first and fast so if you haven't already do subscribe to my channel it's the easiest way to stay up to date and it is free to subscribe closing in on my aim of 38,000 subscribers can we hit that next week that would be absolutely amazing so do subscribe if you haven't already social media links there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter Instagram and and TikTok. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below. And finally, do go and check out today's video sponsor, which is brought to you by SofaScore. see you all again religiously tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. Do go and check out yesterday's update as well where I go in more detail into some of the ins. We've not had any updates on that because City have played in the last 24 hours against Ipswich Town picking up a good win at the Etihad by four goals to one. So I don't expect City when there's games going on to be doing too much uh, within close proximity of that game both before and after the game. But I imagine as of tomorrow onwards to transfer deadline day things will start to heat up and as we get this close to transfer deadline day there could even be further updates today if there is i'll have another video out for you guys if not tomorrow religiously for my next daily manchester city transfer update so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>